Rod had a huge blimp of his shows that said like Rod Stewart coming to I don't know wh- where it was Earl's Court and uh, Elton just rung up one of his uh, East End mates to go and shoot it down with a shotgun <laughs> Ed, I've got a batch of hypothetical scenarios in front of me, and all you need to do is pick from the three different people that you know from actual life who you think are best suited to help you out. Are you ready? Scenario number one. There's a body in the boot of the car. Who do you call for help and why? My security guard, Kev. Is it... (laughs) Is it... If I'd known that, I would have... That's a damning thing on Kev, isn't it? Um, Sir Elton John, Chris Martin or Taylor Swift... Oh man, Elton. Definitely Elton. Yeah, Elton. I I heard a story about Elton which I <laughs> loved. And it was uh um he has this he has this like decade long beef rivalry friendship love with Rod Rod Stewart. Yeah. And uh they always do stuff to annoy annoy each other and Rod had a huge blimp of his shows that said like Rod Stewart coming to I don't know wh- where it was Earl's Court. And uh, Elton just rung up one of his uh, East End mates to go and shoot it down with a shotgun. (laughs) (laughs) And then called Rod, and he was just like, look out your window. (laughs) What is there's a deflated Rod Stewart blimp just slowly making its way to Earth? Such a good story. Okay, that's a great story. And so Elton John is helping you with the body in the boot of the car. Okay, your next scenario. You're on trial in Thailand. Mm, Well, we won't go into what for. Who do you choose as your defence lawyer and why? Eminem, Bruno Mars or Jamie Foxx? Interesting. Um, I think Bruno. I think Bruno. I think Bruno is... is He is very, very good at convincing people to do things. He's very, a silver-tongued very, devil. Really is. He's a really mm. smooth-talking guy. Yeah. Yeah. Really smooth-talking. Okay. Um, yeah, I'd say I'd say I'd say Bruno. But then Jamie Foxx, I think only because I've seen Jamie Foxx play a lawyer in a movie that you'd be like, yeah. But I think Br- Bruno because he's quite smooth talking. So. Okay, so far Sir Elton John and Bruno Mars. And finally, whilst on the mathematics tour, who do you choose to be the landlord of your pub, and why? Justin Bieber, Beyonce, or Stormzy? I feel like Stormzy would have too much fun in it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he'd have too much fun. He came when we did uh, "Take Me Back to London" video. He came to stay there for um, a couple of days, and I got a keg of Guinness in. And we sat at the bar, chatted. We played like he's me and him are sort of the same age. So what he grew up listening to in grime, I grew up listening to in grime. So we were just back and forth playing old freestyles of grime artists that we used to listen to wow. and like rapping back and forth and I'm kind of drinking these Guinnesses drinking put, put, putting them back and my wife comes in to, to talk to us and I kept saying the same story over and over and over again <laughs> and she was like you should go to bed you'll be a piss but, <laughs> but Mike Stormzy was just stoic not he was you wouldn't be able to tell that he'd drunk anything and he had the same amount as you probably more probably more and he's just holding it together more. I, I went to his maybe like two months ago and we had a lot of Hennessy and the same and the same thing. Like I had to take myself home with head spin, and he just carried. He played video games or whatever. Like he's a different. My security guard Kevin's like that though. Okay, he's the um, infamous Kevin, as we've heard about him mate, during show scenarios. When we went to when we went to an, Antarctica, because I've never seen Kevin drunk ever, because he doesn't re- when he's working, he doesn't want to do anything. And there was one time in Australia, he got pissed, but I was way more pissed than him, so I didn't see. So he, one night he said, "Right, we're going to drink gin." I was like, cool. So he starts on gin, I start on gin, um, and I go up to the barman and I slip him a 50, and I say, any time Kevin asks for gin, make it a double. Because I'm like, I have to see, I have to see Kev drunk, I can't. <laughs> so so anyway, the night's, the night's going on and on and on and on and on, and nothing's happening. And I'm kind of looking at the barman and he's just going, I don't know, drinking, 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 and then, and then we go to bed, and then that's that. And then the next morning I go up to the barman and he's like, I have no idea what happened. The bloke drunk two bottles of Gordon's. <gasps> Yeah. Kev. Yeah. Incredible. Kev, you scoundrel. But like, n- not a ch- not a change in expression. He no. Probably, he probably laughed more, which he doesn't really do that often. <laughs> but yeah. I remember that time Kev cracked a smile. Yeah, that was, yeah, a, yeah. That was a great day. Kev only really cracks a smile when someone's like in pain or misery. <laughs> <laughs> He's perfect for show besides. Next time we do this, please bring him by. Uh, so. Oh no, he won't. He won't. He, he likes being in the shadows. Um, who who's the landlord of the pub then? Bieber, Beyonce, Stormzy. 
I'd say Bieber because he doesn't really drink. He okay. does, I mean, he has like a few beers here and there, but I'd say, I'd say your your stock is safe with him. Stock is safe with Justin Bieber. Um, Ed, it's always great to see you, um, and it's great to see you on such great form. And send my love to the family. Obviously, you're Thank you're you. loving being a, a partner. You're lovely being a parent as well, which is just great. Uh, the album is out now. The tour is coming next year. Thank you. Thank Ed you Sheeran. so much. Cheers, Thanks for Ed. having me on, guys.